Wow, oh my god. No, dude, this is one of the nuns that lived here on the grounds. Wow. Wow. Don't click off this video. This is gonna be one for the books. The stuff is still in the containers, the medicine cabinets. Look at this. This is insane. Guys, we are in um, one of the most well-known spots in the city. This is like their iconic landmark in the city we're in right now. This place was built in 1890. This is a monastery slash chapel slash coven. Uh, the nuns would live here. They would house over 100 nuns. And what's amazing about this place is that this all started back in France. Several French nuns who lived in uh, the city met up with several preachers from France. They literally came from France here met up and created a religion, a covenant, a, a, a new group. And back then here, back in the 1800s, this whole area was woods. So they started off with a house and then they were able to grow more people. They were able to get more funds, more money, and they were able to invest and they were able to grow. And they turned this whole place after a hundred years into what it was. And it was a monastery church. The stained glass you're gonna see is from literally Germany, it was shipped here. And in the top of it off, this architecture, this Gothic revival architecture is some of the best one I've seen in the United States. And this place is just sitting here, rotten and abandoned. And the whole thing was, it's like obviously over time, religion and stuff is just kind of getting as less, I guess, popular. Uh, private schools are getting less popular as well because religion is somewhat, not dying, I guess, but they're just not feeding as much into it as they used to. Um, and so that's the reason why this whole place declined. But the problem is, guys, is this place is freaking beautiful. Um, and the city knows that. The city itself knows that. The whole freaking state knows that. And they're trying to put this on the national registry to keep this from being destroyed or taken down. There's a lot of, there's a lot of asbestos everywhere. There's a lot of roof leaks. They're trying their best to preserve this as much as possible. Guys, this is seriously an amazing place. Let's go explore it. Now, explorers, to start off this video, I'm just gonna say this place closed in 2009. It's been sitting here ever since. They, the city was like, okay, they had a proposal where they were gonna turn this place into 100 apartments. But then this other people in the city just said, no, screw that, we're not doing that. It's a bad idea, it's ugly. And so they just, just scrapped the whole idea, but it's still just sitting here left. This is an amazing place. I mean, just look at the freaking chandelier. I mean, guys, we're in the United States. It looks like we're in Europe right now. I go to Europe, so I'm telling you, like, it's almost identical. I wouldn't believe I was in the US if I watched this video. I mean, everything's still here. Check this out. All that stained glass is actually imported from Germany. And the crazy thing about it, it's intact. It's been sitting here so long and it's still preserved. That's what's amazing about this. And look at that light beam up there. It looks like, I don't even know what that symbol is. The stars above. Wow. This is no joke. There's some more chandelier right here. There is a little hole through that one though. The other thing I've already seen about this place is from the outside, there's a freaking courtyard here with gothic freaking hallways. And not only that, which we are gonna get to, the arches of them are so cool and it's green painted. Oh my God, I'm loving this place. I really am, I appreciate everything about this. Don't know where to go. I don't know what's around here. I haven't even really seen photos about this place. I mean, look at this symbol. We're gonna see so much amazing things. Can't get over this. You know, at the time too, they said people were coming from all over just to visit this place, to celebrate, to feel better about themselves, everything. They were doing a lot here. To see this place just rot is just insane to me. Explorers, huge shout out for Radic, who's joining me on this investigation. <laughs> investigation. investigation, I'm so used to yeah. doing ghost videos. I mean, dude, this is an investigation. It kind of is. Here. This is no man's land. No one has actually really like investigated, like yeah. explored it as much. Low key, top, you know, some of the Urbex people have been actually been in here getting these really good shots. So it's still really low key. This place is freaking beautiful. But again, a lot of my Cinemax are coming from Radic, guys. Check them out, link in the description down below. So this place is, I'm assuming, three floors or two. I don't know. Obviously, this was once an entrance, but 
This place is like a huge square, and inside the middle is a courtyard. It's a beautiful with statues. I've seen some statues on the outside. Um, I want to just walk around in a circle first and see where this goes. Remember, there was a hundred nuns living here, so I'm assuming we're going to see a bunch of rooms later. They're probably upstairs. But one of the cool things about this place, as I keep going, I'm going to tell you some more history about it, is the fact that um, this place was almost pretty much actually self-sustaining. And what I mean by that is that they had a garden in the back. They had apple trees. Um, they did a lot of things where they didn't need to rely on other people. It was all done and grown here for themselves. They all had their own jobs. It was a beautiful freaking place. It really was. And I really love it. We're just going to go through, see what's going on. Empty here. That's a small oven. Look at that thing. I kind of want an oven like that. That's like in Japan, like how small their ovens are. And you know this place is old because their bathrooms are using the pink tiling. Sometimes you'll see like a green tiling or like a blue tiling. You know it's going back like a hundred years. Look at that. That's awesome. Bunch of nuns playing uh, music. Flowers are still on the desk. Fake though. What are you doing here? This is like a really small room for what? Well, that scared me. Jesus. I thought there was someone here. This is what their coats? These are actually pretty cool. Like long coats, like in the rain. Oh, by the way, speaking of that, it's actually raining outside and it was thundering a bit. So it was making the mood hard. But I think the rain is starting to slow down, which is really good. Lots of old VHS tapes. And guys, that's the room I'm talking to you about. Oh my God, dude. Oh my freaking God, I can't. I can't, this is freaking amazing. I, I cannot get over this. Look at this, I'll bring it really dark. You can see how like the light is just like seeping in. Heads up guys, if you have not seen my Italy series, watch it because honestly, I did one asylum that looks exactly like this hallway. You know, I travel all over the United States to find cool places, but I travel all over the world to get to those places that I can't see in the US. So to not travel all the way over to Italy or France or anything, and I'm seeing places that are similar, just really excite me even more. And we're gonna get to the courtyard, you guys. Hang on though, I'm just looking at everything in this square before we go up a floor and things like that. Obviously all their knickknacks, their glass, their silverware, it's all still here. And again, we're dating back into the 1890s. It was only in 19, like, 12 is when they actually built the church monastery we were just in. A lot of this was just getting, you know, built in connections along the way. A whole freaking kitchen. The other thing about this place, oh my God, that we're surrounded by a 14 foot wall around the entire area. So you feel like you're closed in. Yeah, their oven was huge. I mean, they were cooking for like a hundred nuns. Oh, they had an elevator. I don't trust that. There's a phone in their elevator. I've never seen that. That's kind of good in case you get stuck in it. They gotta do that more often. It's funny cause I'll go to like antique shops and I'll see like fans like this for like a hundred dollars that are working or something inside. And they're just sitting here because this place is technically like, I'd say it's like a full on time capsule. Everything inside here is like 50 years old or plus. I don't want to miss anything. I'm scared I'm gonna miss stuff. Oh my God. I can't get over this. Holy crap. I can't believe it. I seriously, like this is unbelievable. It's just so amazing here. And look at this, now that you know we're here, whatever, let me show you this stuff. Check this out. I'm not kidding you. Look at this. Statue right in the middle. I'm gonna walk around to the other side so I can show you the statue just looking at us. Now that I'm looking at the place, it looks like the top floors are where um, I think the nuns would sleep, but just every detail about this, I mean, check this out. Just the corners, how it points up. They all do that. The doors. Hang on, what's in here? For a minute, I thought this was like a classroom. I smell like vanilla. Don't know why. 
Like I said, I was gonna show you the statue, I almost forgot. We're gonna go around there and the statue's gonna be popping, looking at us. Oh man, we're almost there. And my boy's hanging out. He's guarding this hallway, to be fair. Oh, this is my home base where I put my tripod down there. Yeah, this is like a whole library section right here. At least at one point, there were just a bunch of books. And that's the, the, the whole church area we were just in, in the beginning. Bunch of uh, Bibles. Jesus cards. Ooh. Okay. That's, that's a rare gem. Haven't seen this since that horror movie. Oh, when they go in the attic and they found the tape and they made a part two on it. God, how do I not remember? Oh, man, it's not insidious. Forgot. Comment below. Remind me. I would just Google it, but whatever. Sinister. Sinister. Got it. From Sinister. I know my stuff. And here we are. The almighty coolest view ever. Oh, man. Look at her, dude. Look at this place. I can't get over it. 100 years old, right in front of us, still preserved. It's just so eerie. I wanna do a ghost video here. <laughs> Let's go in it. Hopefully there's no spiders though, I feel like there might be. Oh, this ow, it pokies. Ah. Okay, wow. What is this, raspberries? Look at these vines, how big they are. I think there's like blueberries, raspberries, I don't really know. Either way, she's guarding them. Jeez. And dude, I, lo I notice a lot of things when I talk and like go through and I analyze. Like even that down there, look at those, the angels guarding her feet. Like she's stepping like next to them. It's just so cool how much detail is into it for being in the US. We still have much to go, explorers, much, much to go. Let's keep going. We haven't even touched the basement. We're gonna save the basement for last. I don't know if there's anything cool in there, but we're gonna save it for last. We still have the second floor and we have the third floor, so. So for some reason there's a ladder here and I wonder if it's because they're trying to like fix this section. Because that's gonna fall soon. Kind of want to save as much as you can here. At least I would. Got this place done, we got the whole courtyard pretty much good. We're gonna head upstairs. I don't know where that is yet though. We're gonna figure this out. But really quick guys, before we keep going, please thumbs up, share, and like this video because we are doing everything we can to not only explore because I love it, but I wanna show you guys it as well. And I wanna take you guys with me on my journeys. And also if you guys do love to support, man, check out the merch. Link in the description down below. We're going in. Up, up we go. Second floor, gang. Let's do this. Oh, these feel a bit flimsy, but still pretty sturdy. Just little cracks. Almost like we go to your old grandma's house. And just, you're going up the stairs, like kind of just feels like that. Okay. Okay. Yep. Here's where they were all living. So this was their showers and baths. Like I said, I called it blue tiles. So I know my stuff, I was just talking about the pink tiles. I do want to do more research though. I want to educate myself more on architecture itself. I mean, it takes time, but would love to learn more. Wow. Whoa. I mean, they said it was for 100, 100 nuns. Welcome to the hotel. Let's go check out from the bottom to the top. So we're starting off here at room 42. That's the Jesus cross there. And you can see it's, it's it's just like, you know, a regular old room. Kind of reminds me of the Cecil Hotel. It's each, I'm assuming they each had their own phone. Does it work? Nope, it doesn't work, but wow, this feels heavy. Look at this. Heavy phone. Does that light work? Nope. Uh, I'm assuming every nun had their own desk. In room, in room 41, there we go. Same size as the other one for the most part. I'm looking to see if there's any beds left here or something. This lady had a lot of things still left here. Dang. And again, like remember, these are all custom uh, screens. 
So it costs more money just to make these. They're not just typical window screens. The dust is starting to like get, creep up in my nose. I gotta sneeze soon. Dang, just left here all broken up. Here we go. Now you know what, we'll fix it, we'll fix it. That's what I'm talking about. It's awesome to see their old suitcases though. Well, her name was on this door. Whoa. Unless this wasn't a room. This one has a lot more things in it. Give you guys the grand tour of this place. I'm going through every room, I'm not even kidding. I look around the side, see if there's something I'm missing. Oh, that's their elevator, that's a pink elevator. Shout out to the pink elevator. So looks like there's, everything's pretty much empty here. Whoa, okay, not everything I guess. This person has the whole setup going on right here. Jesus hanging on the wall. Another antique fan. Just a bunch of cleaning supplies. File cab. All empty, all gone. Wow. Oh my God. An old classic typewriter still on the desk with the phone. Statues, this, this is what I wanna see. This is the preserved stuff I want that's like frozen in time. Paint just chipping off the ceiling, making this like old look. What's this? Diamonds, we found diamonds. Dude, that's, this looks so cool. Oh, they had a safe, bro. Oh, they had a whole terrible. safe in here. It's all gone, the keys were even still in the safe. Everything's taken out. All right, the tubs. You know, there's a lot of abandoned photos online. People just love taking photos of tubs. You know, it's just all offices and spaces to live in, nothing crazy. I don't see any beds. The typewriter's still the coolest thing so far. Although the hallway looks kind of creepy, especially at night. All right, so to get to the other side, we're going through the kitchen, I assume? What's the point of all this to go all the way around to come back here? Seems like they were sealing up these ways. Where was this going? Oh, this is for the church itself. The actual, yeah, church. Look at this, unfreaking believable Oh, the whole door's kicked in or something. The whole door's missing. Yo, I look in the window, I see Radek up there taking shots. I don't even know how to get up there yet. I'm still just going around this whole thing. Dude, so here's the view. My God, heck yeah. So one of my biggest things about abandoned is courtyards. I'm a huge like fan of just kind of overgrown courtyards. You found a good view? A tower, a, a tower has a statue inside of it, he's saying. Okay, I'll, I'll go up there to see you. Right behind the Mary statue, he says. Behind the tower, we have the tire view of Manhattan, he says. All right, I'm gonna go up this one, right? I'm going upstairs, I gotta figure out how to get up there. Get better views. We just circled this whole thing. I think we're good. So let's figure out how to get upstairs though. First, we'll go see what Radic's doing because that's still another floor we haven't seen. I'm coming up, Radic. And of course, another layer of dorms. Same layout as the last one, I assume. We got the blue bathrooms. I'm assuming everything up, the tubs. It looks like we were just here, but we weren't. Here's a new room. The artist's handbook. Oh yeah, they had a whole library here. Church history was in some of them I'm reading. Look at this. And for a library, remember, the books are still in the shelves. That's what makes it special, preserved. Let's go see. Wait, what's in here? Oh, nothing. Whoa, this is a nice one. Loving the green shelves. What is this? It's like all like hand paintings. Ooh, what's in here? Dude, this floor is even better than the last one. Little setups going on here. I love that picture. How did Radic get upstairs? Oh God, actually I like this. I can use this for like a picture in the hallway. By the way guys, if you want to see my Instagram, I'm talking about photos right now, check out Instagram.com slash exploring with Josh. See some cool photos from our adventures. You like it. There is a wig. Oh, maybe a 50 year old wig, I don't know. Put it in the box. Our first bed, our first bed still left here. And I assume because it's up like another floor, people get lazy, so they leave the beds here. 
Wow, oh my god. No, dude, this is one of the nuns that lived here on the grounds. And that's the wall. The wall, I'm telling you, there's a wall underneath. This is it. This is one of the pictures of the nuns that lived in this room, but there's four. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is really cool. I love before and after shots, so I wonder who one of them lived in here. And dude, they were knitting a lot. So one of the things that really fascinates me about exploring abandoned places is the fact that you read the history before you go in. So then you get a good idea what this place used to look like, why is it abandoned, what happened. Sometimes you don't know all of it. Sometimes you go inside of a house or an old place and you just don't know because they don't tell you because it's just not online. So you have to start thinking yourself or research and investigate, look at old mail that's left behind. All urban exploring, amazing things. But when I get to see like old pictures fully blown out of the place itself, and know that one of them used to live in this room 100 years ago, it's just it's just like a crazy feeling to me. Because dude, it's gonna happen to all of us. We're all gonna die later, not to get morbid. And then I don't know, it's just weird because life just moves on. And this is all that's just stuff that's left here. Everything advances, everything grows as, you know, it's just insane to me. Guys, again, like and subscribe, share this video. 40% of you are watching my videos, but you're not subscribed. So please click the subscription link down below. Let's keep going. We have way more adventures to go on. I know you guys want to see them. Another one with a bed. They left you anything cool behind? Mm. One guy's holding a cross. Where's Radic? Oh, he jumped over to the other side, maybe? Unless he walked on that. It looks kind of sketchy, though. All right. Oh my god, no way! Mad wheelchairs left here. These are the old, old wheelchairs. I've only seen like a few of these actually. Those are rare. But this amazing chest. Jesus Christ, literally. Oh my god. Like a relic. I don't know where this is taking me, or if this was the way Radic's talking about, or not. Old records? Whoa, didn't expect this. This must be where all the decorations are. What's in this room? What the hell? 1983. Right, it's upside down. 1983. Jesus face. Wow. Oh my God, I finally found you though. Yeah. So what's the statue? Oh! Yeah, there's, a, there's a giant Mary statue. Uh, yeah, there's a statue that. in there. Later. Bro, we can't go up there, we'll slide down. Yeah, let's go to the other side, really quick. Wait, <laughs> Radix said there's an operating room. Where are you? I'm already vlogging, where are you? We were just up there. No, this is another side. This is another side? Yeah. What? Oh. Whoa! Check this out. This is nuts. No, don't even care about those. I'm looking at everything. Look at this. You see this? What the hell? I did not see Yo, this. Yo, it's a whole dentist thing. What a crazy, right? No. Yo. They just have one for like the nuns, I guess. Dude, guys, this is. Freaking so preserved, never mind that. The stuff is still in the containers, the medicine cabinets. Look at this. This is insane. The pills are still in there. What is this one? Never even seen these before. And what is that? There's something called formaldehyde here. Germicide. Bard, oh maybe that's to uh... I don't know. Is it like a powder? Yeah, it is a powder. Weird. I don't know I don't what that is. Dude. Oh, I, I don't know what. Yeah. Uh, wow. This stuff is crazy. Dude, look at all the tools and the pills. Dude, there's a needle. Yeah, there's needles in here too. They're not used, they're just still in their packs. Oh, man. oh my god, some of them are open though. They're freaky. Oh, those are so scary. <laughs> oh, I hate them. Jesus, look at that. They look way scarier than ours. Those are really thick. Dang, oh, I don't uh, want to. 
I'm glad we're born now. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Dealing with that back in the day seems rough. And look at this. Hang on. Oh, dude, you just put that in, in some weird shoe. The medical. The medical center. They had their own yeah, dude. Yo, this was a hospital. Yeah, it was. right here. Yeah, this was a hot. This was a hospital. What's in here? Whoa! Oh, stuff. Like medicine. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> I knew this place was a freaking gem, dude. I knew it. What is that? Witch hazel? Witch hazel? A lotion for the skin. Oh. Okay. Yeah, what else is here? I can't, dude, we, Radic, I would have missed this. Oh my God. I know. What is this? It says green soap. Yeah, it says green soap. Surgical lubricant. Oh, I don't know what some of these are though. I'm, I'm literally taking, showing you guys them. So for those who do know what they are, boric acid. Oh, I've heard of that before. Boric acid. I don't know what this is. Like a shot almost? So leaving the dentist room, here's another room. This was definitely a little hospital room at one time. Here's the hospital bed. That's the last one. This is a very small one. It was only like four rooms. Here's another one, another hospital room. Nothing's inside though, just the med medicine cabinet down below. And this was the dentist. And we're gonna keep going. Dude, good eyes, Radic, wherever you are. What the hell is that? the hell is that? Don't know. So let's open up this fridge from the 50s. Nothing's in it. Nothing's in it. Here's the top part. But look at this. My favorite windows. If you guys know I love the glass square windows. They don't make them no more, so... This is really intact too. Really awesome to see. Does this door even open? Did I... Oh! Wait a minute, I think I could have got on the other side. Oops. Yeah, because Radic was over there. We got confused. We thought there was no door here. <laughs> I forgot. All right, anyways. Radic! Whatever, I'm going upstairs. He's probably upstairs. Okay. Another library. What else is there? I can't miss any room. Um, well, so far, I'm looking around to make sure we're not missing nothing else. There's a lot of stuff here, man. What's in there? Nothing? But look at the, the footprints on it. It's like bird feet. Yeah. Uh, nah. It's light. I think someone stepped on it maybe? No, dude. Look, both uh, sides are the same. Yeah. yeah done. Dude, people were chilling. Yeah, this is where you get lit. You, yeah, they're getting lit, literally. <laughs> Dutches. Everything. That looks like an alien Halloween jack o -lantern. 100%. Flower. Preserved flower. I think that's everything, man. Gotta go on the last floor. Go on to the roof. One more floor. There is. What is here? For no reason, it's just a door. Mm. Oh, like the priest? Mm hmm. They have like a lot of weird openings in the hallway so you can hear the music in the morning for the prayers. Oh. So you can wake up and go. Dude, finally on the third floor, and look what we found. Someone painted up here. Look at that. The paint set's still right here. It's almost like the painter's mansion. A lot of things all messed up up here. Uh, all right, so inside there is a statue of St. Mary. The problem is it's still kind of far and it's actually really tall. So there's no way I'm climbing that anymore. Oh crap, Dude, bro. The nuns had the best view in They Germany. did have the best view. The best Dude, view. you could see the whole skyline of New York City. I like that. So Radic, we just explored the top floors, the second floor, the third floor, the roof. You even discovered the operating room, which I didn't know exist. Dude. We have one last place to go, bro. What's that? The basement. I don't want to go down there. Man. I know, bro. I know. We have to check it out. Have you seen the movie The Nun? I know. I did. I don't want to go down there. I know, but <laughs> we have to check it out. This place could be haunted for all of It could be. It actually probably could be. I won't lie, but where, where would the stairs be? Down here or something to get to the basement? Oh, literally right here. Right. Wasn't even looking for it, seriously. Here we go. It smells already. Lights going in on full blast. Guys, go full screen if you're watching this. Min don't minimize, full screen this. We're going in hard right now. She is, so, so far, hang on. We see a bunch of chests on the right, but let's go on the left first. 
Oh. Looks like just, oh, dude, jewelry. There's a like, lot of jewelry. What is this, earrings and bracelets? They're making bracelets down here. Are these pins or are these jewels? I don't know. Bunch what of stuff. These? Whoa, I've never seen anything Whoa. like that. Whoa! Heard that? Yeah, I just fell. That was me, I threw it. I was trying to scare you. you scare Didn't it work? Me. No. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. no, I scared you guys. I scared yeah, definitely. Yeah, but I like jump out and scare you guys. Yeah. yeah. So far, there's yeah, there's like nothing in this one. Oh my god, dude, there's a hole. This, oh no, this is all caving in. No. Yeah, right oh here. God. Wait, maybe this is where uh, oh, this? the uh, remnants of the body. You know? No, there is supposed to be a body here though. Yes. Right here. This looks like it would be here. Oh, Why bro, is this, this is all caving in though. Where the body parts were. Uh, nah, cause usually, okay, so guys, I did read that there's a rare relic here, but it's supposed to be of the original owner's bones or something, and they're, I think they're inside the church though, like buried in the church area, like inside oh. cemented. I think that's what it is. Uh, but also, I heard that there's even a graveyard outside, so we have all that to go through. At the moment, it's just wide open rooms. And again, a lot of this stuff is just old, kind of junk now at this point. This was an old sewing kit set, but nothing to like be like, oh wow, like we have to film. So a lot of this might not even make it in this video. I might just go super fast cuts, but I mean, you got a lot of chests here though. Like a lot of chests. Dude, look at the old tennis stuff. Ah, uh, three, oh, it's ping pong. And yeah, tennis. ping pong too. Wow, and like mini golf. Is that mini golf? I, I don't know, is it raw? Uh... Mini golf. Damn. Isaac sweaters. Whoa, been... dude. Oh my god. Oh, so many crosses. This is terrifying. This is pretty intense. Yeah, this is very intense. I'm not taking a single one. So many. You get cursed. Dude, you probably will get cross cursed out here. Oh my god. They're, and they're like different types too. Some yeah. of them are more faded than the others. For real. There's a lot of them though. Oh, you heard something? Yeah, I was hearing something. I'm not sure what it was. I heard it like twice now. No, wait, this is, a, oh my god, it's an, it's an underground chapel. See that? Oh, it is. It is an underground chapel. You're right. Dude, they had so many. I wonder what, why they didn't have one down here. Unless it was just storage, but I think you're right. They did have one. Look at all the seats down here. I know. All the, yeah, knives, like oh, wow. really cool looking knives too. Plates. It's awesome that this place has been like explored. It's also I know. I don't even know what upstairs bring you. We'll probably have to take that up. I think that's the whole basement. I'll check behind here really quick, but I think we're actually done yeah, the whole place now. Dude, this is all really cool as well. Random cool statues. So guys, this is actually how the place used to look. This is in a postcard. All right guys, so I showed you the entire inside of this place and now I'm gonna show you the outside. I did the inside first, now outside. So we're starting off right in this random section, I don't know where, and you can see this is the gate. We're surrounded by like a 14 foot wall on the other side. Uh, there's more dirt here on this side, so you can't really tell, but it's super high up on the other side. And man, check out the Gothic Revival architecture. It's amazing. This is actually one of the front entrances right here. And honestly, it's like I said, something you would just see in like Europe. I mean, oh my God, it, yo, this is what it was peeking at. The statue we've seen upstairs. What? Look up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's looking right down at us. Oh, she's got Jesus in her arms. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. Dude. That's insane. So if you look at the entrance, look at the woodwork we're looking at. It's truly amazing. We're gonna keep it going though. Just gonna show you the entire section on the outside. Almost looks like a freaking castle. And look at that, you got more statues on the outside praying, like almost like they're guarding, like they're guarding it. And one more, we have one last homie over here protecting and looking after the building. Uh, this is the first side. This is like the main entrance to get inside the chapel and church. We're gonna head around to the back now. And I think that is where like 
you'll see like a farm, uh, they're living kind of like where they plant their trees and self-sustained kind of vibe thing going on. Wow, there's so many ways inside here. All the doors. Dude, look at all their land. Oh, you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, this is true. This is actually where the cemetery was. There's a picture. I don't have the picture on me, but there is a picture. And it's actually where the cemetery graveyard was. Somewhere like around here. But here's one of them. Can't see. This is the the Bond. No, the Condon. The Condon family. I, you know, the sun is blaring right now on here. That's like their gravestone. It's crazy, man. This neighborhood's crazy. <laughs> I hear like yelling everywhere. <laughs> what is everyone doing? Ah, uh, dude, check this out too. This was like where they were planning a lot of different things. To think we we're in all that. Again, just doing a cool roundabout to show you guys the outside because the inside was so sick. Oh, this might be the last statue. I wonder what was on these poles, like just flags you think? Or like, oh, probably flowers to hold like garden of flowers on each pole as you walked. And here you go. The last statue. Do you know who that is, Radic? Who is it? I don't know, that's what I was asking you. I don't know. I don't know either. Well, one last thing, the gazebo. They're all chilling back out here. Again, remember, remember this last thing. This was built in the 1800s, late to late, 1890 was when it was kind of built. And like, this was all forest. All this thing, this wasn't all built yet. This was all kind of forest. And they took over this and built this 14 freaking foot long wall for the fortress. It's been in the middle ever since. Look at that. Don't know was over here. And I think I don't know was also was over there, like a little, maybe, it looked like actually that could have been a garden over there or like places to sit, like in ground. But also these steps went up. These steps like went up. I don't know what to what. I mean, over something over, well over a hundred years ago. I don't know. They could have did anything on these grounds. And this is the last thing. We explore the entire place, and I want to thank you so much for watching. And again, press that bell button to subscribe and get all those notifications because YouTube is not like YouTube back in the day when all you had to do was press the subscribe button and you get everything because now you got to press the notification button. You get where I'm going with this. Also, again, check out the merch. You already know. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part about the video and what you like about it. And again, this is a rare gem in the United States, and I thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate this stuff. Love to take you guys on all these events. Adventures. And every adventure is random. It might be a ghost place the next day. It could be something not even abandoned or haunted. It could be something completely different. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. And check out Radic for the cinematics on this video. Link in the description down below. And without further ado, guys, rise above. Just get out here explore. Peace and thanks for watching.